All right, boxing fans, it's time for the main event now on the eight count boxing hour. Super middleweights, Albuquerque's own pit bull, Danny Ray Perez, taking on El Paso, Texas, Kenny Garcia. This bout took place September 3rd at the New Mexico State Fairgrounds. It was an exciting battle, but before we see the fight, let's hear from some of the boxing experts around the state of New Mexico to see what they have to say. Okay. Our next guest on the Eight Count Boxing Hour is uh, uh, the trainer and manager of uh, Kenny Garcia and uh, the other fighters that have come in from El Paso. This is Ariel Conde, a former uh, professional boxer. Okay, thank you for joining us. Okay, first let's talk about you, Ariel. Uh, you're, you had a pro career, I believe. Sí. Okay, and yeah. uh, who are some of the better fighters that you fought? Really? Mark Breland. Maybe Wilfred we'll Benito, no? Oh, Red. Yeah. Uh, Brown. Okay, Brown was tough. Three champions. Yeah. Okay, so he's, this man here knows all about the boxing game. He's faced a lot of champions himself. Okay, Ariel, let's talk about uh, Kenny Garcia, who's in town to face Danny Perez. Uh, how do you see the fight going as far as Kenny? Is he ready to go, and what can we expect to see? Yeah, well, Kenny's ready to go. I'm expecting a uh, tough fight. That, that's for sure. But, you know, this Danny Perez always seems tough. Uh, but sometimes he's a little bit lazy. I saw in a few fights. He won a decision over one of my fighters. I guess if he is not 100% of his chest tomorrow night, he may get beat because Kenny is a serious fighter. He's a good fighter, he's a good pro. He fought already against uh, the USBA champion, Kenny Leon. Right. Kenny Beasley, uh, right. Alex Ford, uh, Card. I mean, he's good. I mean, he's, he's not. A, an amateur. He's ready. Right. He's ready for, for he's, the top he, guy. He's the next level up. Yeah, he's okay. ready for the top guy. Okay. So, uh, what can you tell us about Kenny's style? I mean, would you call him a boxer or a slugger, or how would you describe his style of fighting? Well, Kenny is a right hand. You know that he's for sure. Isn't that a bot? But you know, not that pretty kind of. He's not, not a dancer. No, he's not a dancer. He's gonna get down the straight right. and try to push, push, push. You know, it's Mexican roots always, always come right that way. Straight so. ahead and a lot of strength. Yeah, yeah I know that that is a great punch too. So we're gonna have at least it's gonna be exciting. Right. So there won't be no uh, nobody chasing you. At least you won't have to find Kenny, right? He'll be there to fight. Yeah, he'll be there. Okay, I saw him fight with Anthony Brown in Denver, and I think he gave Anthony Brown a heck of a time. I guess we won. Against that guy, at least in Denver, I guess we did pretty good. Right, for, for fighting the other man in his hometown. And I remember that was a close fight. A close, kind close. of a surprise. Okay. Well, as you know, Mexican fighters always come ready to fight, and you, you're going to have to earn a victory against them. Uh, this is our guest, uh, Ariel Conde. Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate your time, Ariel Conde. Thank you very much. Okay, okay let's talk about the rest of the card then. How about uh, the main event, Danny Perez and Kenny Garcia? What can you tell us about Danny Perez? Um, Daniel, you know, he's a good friend of mine. He's, he's a real, real strong guy. He's real, real powerful. Um, Kenny Garcia, I've never really seen him. I've never seen him fight before, but Daniel is a good fighter. And, you know, he, he has my back. He's big time. Okay. So, Danny Perez, 168. 168. Kenny Garcia. This is Kenny Garcia. Kenny Garcia, 168. 168. Yeah. Kenny Garcia, 168. How about the main event? Danny Perez and Kenny Garcia, what do you think? I think Danny, Danny looks really good, you know, by his weight. The way he looks, I think he's okay. And also joining us, that's Rudy Chavez here. He's an amateur boxer from here in Albuquerque. And here with him is uh, Jesus Zapata. And he's another uh, amateur boxer from here in Albuquerque. Jesus, uh, what do you think about the main event tomorrow night? I think Danny will take it. Um, he looks a lot stronger. He looks real good shape. So I gotta, I'll go with him. Okay. Uh, what can you tell us about the main event, Danny Perez and uh, Kenny Garcia? Do you see any trouble for Danny Perez on the horizon? Uh, no, uh, Danny just can't afford to get careless and uh, he's got to watch himself. And if he does, you know, he's gonna have he's gonna have a good night. You know, he'll, he'll win. Okay. He just can't get careless and he's got to stick to his game plan and he'll do it. Okay, things are heating up here now, Albuquerque. 
Okay, let me ask you about a few of the other fights on this card. Uh, people are really excited about it. Uh, uh, the main event, of course, Kenny Garcia from uh, El Paso, Texas, taking on Danny Perez. And I think you're pretty familiar with Danny. You trained the same gym. Right. Have you ever sparred with him? No, I won't sparred with him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Uh, what will Kenny Garcia be saying tomorrow after he fights Danny Gray Perez? Damn. <laughs> I should have done it. I shouldn't have fought that guy. <laughs> he hits so hard. It's okay. so hard. So you don't see any problems? But if he doesn't hesitate, then he shouldn't have any problem with him at all. Do you think Danny can stop him? Yeah, he'll stop him. Okay. 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 All right. Joining me now in the eight count boxing hour, um, it's a pleasure to have a special guest here. He's in town to face Danny the Pitbull Perez. This is Kenny Garcia. Kenny, thanks for joining us. Gracias. And uh, translating for us will be Jesus Zapata from Albuquerque. Are you an amateur boxer? Jesus? Yes, I am. Okay. Hey, Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> He's, he's ready to fight. He's ready to fight. He said, right now, where's Perez? <laughs> okay. Okay, ask him, uh, first of all, uh, how, he, how he, has he ever been to Albuquerque before and how does he like his uh, visit so far to Albuquerque? <laughs> He said he's been here about a year ago and he likes it very much. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Kenny, as I said, we're going to face Danny Perez from Albuquerque. Danny with a record of 9 and 2. Um, Kenny uh, has a record, I believe, of 10 and 10 as a professional. This fight will be in a, in a super middleweight division. Uh, Kenny, uh, uh, are you, have you faced Danny Perez? Are you familiar with him? Because he knows Danny Perez. Do you know Walker? There he is, yeah. Ask me if he's seen. Ask me, has he seen Danny in, in action before? Has he seen Danny in action before? He's never seen him. Okay, okay, so, okay, so he won his last fight by decision, which uh, sets him up for this fight. The sure. Shirt, you know, from our hometown here on Danny Perez. Um, uh, ask uh, Kenny, how has his training been? Is any problem with the weight? And how about training? Does he feel? How does he feel for this fight? ¿Cómo está el problema con el peso? No, no tengo problemas porque yo peleo en 155, en 160, y este es en 165. Ya de vuelta me dijeron que era en 160, antes de peso más. Pero sí, yo peleo en Super Welter. Sí. He says he's never had any problem with his weight, that he's fighting 160, 165. Uh, right now they told him there was going to be at 160 that he might be a little heavy. Okay. But he's never had any problem. Okay, so no problem with the weight. He's in shape. He's ready to go. Uh, thank you. Thanks very much, Kenny, for joining us. Gracias por todo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For the 8-count boxing hour, this is Dan Cisneros. Thank you. The pride of uh, Albuquerque, this is the pit bull, Danny Perez. Danny, thank you for joining us. And uh, this is the night before the uh, main event here when he faces Kenny Garcia, the 10-rounder uh, at the fairgrounds. Danny's going to be in tough, and I think you, you know what you're in for. Have you seen Kenny Garcia fight before? Yes, I have. He's a really tough fighter, and um, he throws a lot of skills, but he's really strong and straight in. And he doesn't know what he's doing. He's not defending his fight. Right, so, so he is very dangerous. Okay, but I think you're well prepared for this fight. How, I noticed that the way in here looks like you made weight, but no problem. Yeah, I made it very easy. I mean, I'm a big, you know, mature, if I will, mature into a solid super middle. Yeah, that's yeah. small idea. Right, okay. Uh, oh, we got to build your record up a little bit. Uh, you got to get past Kenny Garcia. Now, if you can get past Kenny Garcia here, uh, any plans for the future right now? Anything going on? Well, if uh, the promoter, uh, Mr. Saul Guzman, he's uh, planning on promoting a few more fights. If, it, if you, things keep on going good, he's going to keep on doing it. And I'm hoping to get me a few average fights, and then hopefully give me a some kind of title shot here in town. Right. Oh, well, that'd be wonderful. You bring, could bring a title shot here to Albuquerque. Well, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay, so uh, any any last words you want to give to your opponent now, to Kenny Garcia? Do you have any message for him before the fight? Just Kenny Garcia, you're in for a tough fight. Yes, not gonna not gonna be no pushover. So expect a lot. Okay, and now what would you like to say to the people of Albuquerque here in your hometown? Well, uh, all my fans, all the kids from here. Uh, we got a lot of great fighters coming out of Albuquerque, and uh, I personally feel I'll be the top one. Okay, and there's one special fan that's here from Pueblo, Colorado that wants to, uh, would like to hear some words from you. Her name is Sandy Lynn Cisneros. Uh, what would you like to say to Sandy Lynn? She's a real big fan of yours. Uh, Sandy, um, I'll give an extra few punches for you, and uh, I'll be giving Claire a good show and hope you uh, appreciate the show. There you go. And I, this man always keeps his word, believe me. You're in for a treat tonight when he faces Kenny Garcia. Danny, thank you for joining Thanks, us. Sir. Wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Meeting Albuquerque to the title. Danny Pettis.
So the stage is set. We're ready to go now to the New Mexico State Fairgrounds for this super middleweight battle scheduled for 10 rounds. It's Kenny Garcia coming all the way from El Paso, Texas to take on Albuquerque's own Danny Ray Perez in the main event here on the eight count boxing hour. Okay, so we're all set for round one of this super middleweight bout. It's Danny the Pitbull Perez from Albuquerque, New Mexico, going head on with El Paso, Texas, Kenny Garcia in the black trunks. Kenny Garcia comes into this bout with a reported record of 10 and 10. Danny Ray Perez in the red trunks with a record of nine and two coming off that fantastic 10 round decision loss to the world ranked, uh, I believe he's number two in the world at this time, Thomas Tate. And Danny Perez really impressing the world. Now comes home to face Kenny Garcia. There's a good combination and Garcia's down immediately. So Kenny Garcia goes down right off the bat. Danny Perez jumping all over him. He's pumped up, he's fired up for this bout. Garcia is up, he beats the count. Referee takes a good look at him and lets him go. Referee Nefi Quintana says, let's go. Danny Perez now like a pit bull on the attack. Body shots, comes back with a right hand. A good combination to the head. Kenny Garcia's in big trouble right here. He's in big trouble, Perez is all over him now. The referee, and that's it. Referee Nefi Quintana waves the bout off. First round technical knockout for Danny Ray Perez. So Danny Perez comes out smoking in this hometown bout. He was fired up to fight before his hometown crowd. There you see him saluting the crowd. Danny Ray Perez running his record now to 10 and two. And he is really on to something big. He's on the right track now, moving up in the rankings. Danny Perez with a very impressive first round knockout over Kenny Garcia, a man, who, a man who went with USBA champion Tim Littles and went quite a few rounds with him. Let's go up to the ring announcer for the call. So Daniel Pitbull Perez from Albuquerque, New Mexico delights his hometown fans here with a great first round knockout. Danny Perez now runs his record to 10 and two with three KOs. And I think he's on the right track for something big. Thank you for joining us here on the bo eight count boxing hour. I, I hope you enjoyed this bout. It was a great performance by one of our most popular hometown fighters. Once again, 56 seconds of the first round, Danny Ray Perez with a first round technical knockout.